Hi, it's Jen and Janine from Ready Together again. And today we have Karen McClay uh, from Calm Birth. And we're doing a little series on the different options people can do in terms of birth preparation at Ready Together. We're so, um, so much in favour of doing as much preparation as you can. And today I would love, Karen, for you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you got into Calm Birth. Mm -hmm. Sure, bit. okay. Well, um, I'm Karen McClay and I'm owner and director of the Calm Birth organisation. I, um, I started teaching Calm Birth back in 2008, I think it was. Um, I did my training back then uh, with Pete. Um, and at the same time, I was also doing my midwifery training and it was a very natural progression for me to come into Calm Birth because I am actually Peter Jackson's daughter who... And Pete is the founder of Calm Birth. So I've grown up with the philosophy of Calm Birth really my whole life because what Pete brought into Calm Birth is what he had been sort of really thinking and believing his entire life and his journey with his, his nursing and also his midwifery as well. Um, so it was just, it's just kind of was natural for me to follow on with Pete. And also as my in my practice as a midwife, you could really tell the difference between couples that did really high quality um, childbirth education. And in fact, you could really, I could really see the difference. And we often hear it that midwives can really tell when couples have done calm birth or, or a similar program because they're very, very connected. Um, together in that space so that's what what really drew me into to calm birth that's so lovely and if you were to describe the calm birth course how would you best describe it to people that don't know anything about it um okay so calm birth is, is a holistic program that that educate couples in everything that they need to know about um, labour and birth and preparing for labour and birth, but also in that, that postnatal period. Um, we, we touch on elements in that as well. It's, uh, when I say holistic, what it's about, why we're holistic is because we, we cover not just the physical aspects of birth, which we do go into a lot of detail about these days, but we're also very much about the emotional component of birth and, and couples' experience of birth and creating that experience. Uh, one of the things about um, birth is that when couples describe what their births were like, particularly women later on down the track, they don't actually describe their physical journey of birth. They describe their emotional journey of birth, mm. so how they felt, um, what was said to them, how they were treated, whether that they had felt they had choices or um, whether they understood what was going on, whether they knew how to work with it. And so Calm Birth puts a really big emphasis on that because it's it's the experience that is most important, not, not how women give birth, but whether or not they felt... Um, um, empowered in that space or, or comfortable in that space is probably the most important thing. Um, we're incredibly passionate about educating partners as well and connecting them in together as a team because we really believe that partners have an enormous role to play in birth. They are the protector of the space. And again, as, as a midwife working with women every day in that space of, of labour and birth, it's we I really have come to realise how essential it is um, the education of the support team and, and who holds space for yeah. women in birth because that really is what generates determines how women move through that space of birth at that emotional level women need to feel safe calm and private mm -hmm. and partners are amazing at, at, at creating that space when they're well educated and they yeah. understand what their role is and that's the thing they need to be educated and they have to support that and when they do i call them the silverbacks of the room they're they're amazing they they really are there to support it so calm birth is not just for women it's for birth for partners as well and we're really about connection and connecting them together as an amazing team i agree so much with that yeah. and as you know i did calm birth with, with 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 my first and then i did it two years later with my second and i think that's one of the things that stands out the most for us um is the impact it had on my partner mm. and the role he played, even when I started to maybe doubt myself at moments in that first birth, he never doubted me. And I know that had he not had that knowledge and that um, that role to play, maybe we all would have been doubting and he was able to hold us on that path and we had an amazing birth. So, yeah, I totally agree and he's still so passionate about it and will talk to other men about it because it made a difference for him. And I think that's so important. 
And then when the baby comes along, you're kind of starting off on the same page. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's right. And it's important. And a lot of the skills that we're teaching come both are life skills as yeah. well. So they, they go on because you don't need a unique set of skills for birth. It's really about learning what you've already already know, tweaking a little bit and moulding it so that it fits into to that space of birth. Yeah. As well. So it's it, they're really life skills that you learn in our program, which is why we're so passionate about it. And, yeah. and, and exactly what you said is that idea of trusting yourself too. And I think that's what our program brings is the knowledge and tools that couples need to know so that they can re renew their trust in their own abilities to do this and that's the thing it's we already know how to do it we just have to trust like what get out of the way as get, yeah. out the way. get out of our heads believe in yourself <laughs> so obviously the world's a little bit um upside down right now and things are running differently and when mm -hmm. i attended gun birth it was a group um session down in barrel mm -hmm. And I know that we can't do that at the moment. So how, um, I know you're running by Zoom. How, how is that going? Actually, it's going really, really well. We were all um, sort of a little bit, not nervous, but I guess everyone's nervous around having to change it. But we had to literally change overnight. I went from moving on a Friday afternoon, deciding that the next morning my next class was going to be a Zoom class. And one of the really big things that we're passionate about at Calm Birth is that face-to-face -face connection with couples and, and the building rapport. We really believe that the rapport that we build in our program is, is one of the essential ingredients in, in couples feeling confident um, in, in that space. And so what Zoom has allowed us to do is still maintain that face-to-face -face contact and that... Um, that in sort of interactive live platform for us to, to be able to connect with couples, um, individualize the program to their needs, and also have couples connect with each other as well, which I think is big because another big thing we're about is, is couples building their village mm -hmm. and their support network. So it also gives them that as well. So we're going to Zoom, it's working really, really well with getting some amazing feedback from couples who are doing it. And, um, and as educators, we're actually finding it lots of fun too. I was concerned that staring at my computer for a day here and a day there was going to be too much but you actually don't notice your computer at all because you're actually you talk as I am now with you yeah. Yeah. I'm actually talking to you and interacting you I'm not actually noticing that I'm I'm speaking to my computer yeah yeah so it's really good and they get to cuddle on their couches and their dogs get involved I've had it's amazing <laughs> to do the relaxations I've had a few dogs that have gone out cold every single relaxation has been <laughs> Um, to watch but yeah, it's, it's really good and the couples are, in, are loving the fact that they can be in the comfort of their own homes and still interact that's so lovely is it for a weekend did you say how long does the course go for um, well it, it's a 12-hour program wow. and we run it in different ways to suit either the educator as well as the couples as well so most of us run it either over a full weekend or say two consecutive weekend wow. days either two Sundays or two Saturdays um, and then others will actually run it over evenings whether it be for a sort of over a four-week period as well it just depends what suits in um, a lot of us are have got families at home now like we're all at home we're homeschooling we're we're doing yeah. all that so and and our couples particularly those doing the refresher program so the women that have done done come birth before and coming back for the second they've got toddlers but no one to look after them so it, the zoom's allowing us that ability to be able to work with them and and help tailor the timing so that maybe their toddlers are in bed yeah. and we can sit down and, and talk with them so we're really quite flexible with yeah, how it looks good. but overall it's a 12-hour program okay yeah. that's awesome so i guess um our final question today is just kind of in summary why do you think birth education is so important? Ah, oh, there's so <laughs> many reasons. That's it's such it's a huge question. question. I know it's a huge question. Um, look, it is so important because in order, the one thing about labour and birth is it is a challenging day, and and women have to move out of their comfort zone. In fact, couples have to move out of their comfort zone, comfort zone to rise to that challenge. And when we move into our challenge zones with knowledge and tools and confidence and that I've got this mentality, then we're able to rise in a really beautiful way and really see our strength and our courage and really connect and grow as a person. And I think that in order to, to really make the most out of this time and to be able to bring your, your babies into the world in a way that 
that is is really positive, you need to know what you're working with and and how to work with it and understand your role in it too and trust. You've got to gain that trust yes. in, your, in your ability to do it. I love that word, trust. And my other favourite word for birth is surrender, being mm. able to surrender to that process as well. And I think that trust and surrender, you know, learning those skills and that ability to surrender to the unknown flows so seamlessly into parenthood where we get given this newborn yeah. baby and one of the things we really need to do is surrender. Like it's Absolutely. You know, it's it's suddenly very much out of our control in such a different way than our work was or our, our job was before being parents. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's a very intuitive and creative process, both birth and parenting. And we have to move out of that analytical headspace. I think I was saying to this too the other day when we were talking yeah. to Genevieve that we're so left-brained in our society. Yeah. And birth and parenting is a right-brained activity. It's creative, yeah. it's intuitive, it's instinctive and we need to trust that yeah. a little bit more. And that's why you need the knowledge and tools to be able to do that and move out of that analytical space into a space where you just remind yourself that you know what to do here. Yeah. yeah. Thank oh, you so, so much, great. Karen. I really appreciate you coming in and explaining a bit more about calm birth to us. And, um, yeah, we really appreciate your time. No worries. Thank it's an absolute you. pleasure. And I think what you're doing is amazing. It's really, really fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you. No